here. <clears throat> at the yep. bottom. Yep. For because of the second printing of the covers. Yep. Sandy loves to do intros. Take 46. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this place. Once again, Ak is my man to my right, That's aka your left. And it's not Ak. It's, it's Ak. <laughs> that's, no, that's what the Martians say from. Yeah, uh, that's what the Martians say. say from the Ag movie. I don't know what the Martians say from. Ag, 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 Ag. No, he's he's Ock. He's an Ock. Can you acknowledge that? No. Acknowledge. Okay. Uh, anyways, we had two my left, but also your right. That's we got the the amazing, cold. the great smelling Travis. Uh, we have our wicked executive producer. Dave, who's in because again we can't afford anyone else. He's our fucking fact checker. Bro. He is Let's producer go. slash fact checker. And, <laughs> and we got the guy with the long intro. Yes, Sandy this Martin. guy, Sandy Sandy. Martin. So, how was uh, how was everyone's weekend? It was, was good. It? It's, it's uh, shut it's, up, man. Small talks fucking sucks. Let's get. Are you kidding me? Dragon Ball Super, son. Vegeta kicking ass. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. I've been waiting for this. Man. I don't know how I rated Star Wars Seven Five. I'm revoking that and going back to my original <laughs> fucking mark of question mark. <laughs> I'm also lowering Bright from eight to a seven. Is it because the sequel? That's announcement? and that's fair. Is it 100 percent because of the sequel announcement? I'd originally wanted to give it a six five because fuck, I ain't giving shit an eight. Conan's an eight, and fucking Bright wasn't nearly as memorable as. <sighs> So I would have gave it technically a 6.5, but since I gave it an 8 to begin with, I figured I'll only dock it minus 1, considering I was drugged under Star Wars. <laughs> White people drugged me. <laughs> well, I said that movie was confusing. It confused me, and it still fucking confuses me to this day. I don't know what the fucking think about it, so question mark is good enough. So you left you the theater, what you're saying is you left question the theater mark. vexed. No, I didn't leave. I, I left confused, man. Uh, you vexing me right now by not understanding confusion. Like confusion, like a bisexual and an orgy? Why would a bisexual be confused in an orgy? Where do you start? Yeah, that's a good point. No, that's, that's, not a, good point. <laughs> that's a very valid point. It's not a good point. No, that I would imagine a, good a bisexual to just do what he wants or her what she wants. Well, exactly. They'll do what they want, but where do you start? It's like, uh, you know, yeah, being at a buffet. Where do you roll, start? Roll a d20. That's not confused, though, bro. That's just fucking being picky. Is it? Too many options. I'm talking like confused <clears throat> when you sit in there, like, you know, if you uh, if you just gave birth to a child and you're looking at all these babies that look like your child and the only way you can tell the difference between them is shade of skin color. Confused like that. Or DNA tests. Right, but then everyone wants to say they know their child, but they're lying because their names is right beside them little fucking child beds they got, and the baby beds, incubating beds or whatever the fuck you want. Incubating <laughs> beds for they chicks? You know what I'm saying? When you got all them babies up in the fucking room, actually, I don't even know if they do that the shit. Yeah, whatever you want. The nursery. No, kids I'm just kids are with their parents confused, now. Confused, like, <laughs> if you're watching this right now and you're wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Confused like that. Yeah, that's probably better. Maybe if this was, like, the 1930s or 40s right. in a hospital, then <laughs> well, that would we'll, make sense. we'll use that as a, a good segue to uh, the topic I was going to talk about. What, were, what movies are coming up in 18, 2018 that make us excited uh, or Travis, I think you're the only one in this cast that gets excited. Yeah, you. I are still the have hope left in this world. <laughs> I, I didn't even get excited when I drove off anymore. Mm-hmm. I seen it. All right, so. Oh, how it's gonna end? <laughs> uh, number one would probably be Black Panther. That's next month. What hold of the fuck Wait, up? Wait, that's next wasn't month? It, wasn't it a couple of fucking episodes ago? Travis was hating on Black Panther. Yeah, it was he too was. Dark, too dark. Yeah, it was too dark. There. Why is there so many black why people? Is, why is he chasing that claw guy? <laughs> yeah, why is why is that black guy chasing that white guy? How come no, this movie uh, doesn't take place in jail? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all sorts, all sorts of weird shit, man. <laughs> oh my! And why God. can't the white people wear white hoods? <laughs> all right. So anyway. Black Panther comes out next month. Uh, yeah. I thought it was coming out in like late March. No, February. Oh, February. February. Oh, shit. What? 
Yo, you know, he's starting. I'm starting at the beginning of the year. Okay. It might also be because whatever he has on his phone literally has Black Panther up. Like if Jurassic Park is the thing <clears throat> most looked forward to movie, we know he's <laughs> looking just listing no. off of someone else. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I totally love Jurassic Park. I just have it up for the <laughs> dates. I have it up for the dates. No, I'm not excited for a fucking someone. volcano <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Let's work it together. Oh, we, we're a team Jesus here. Christ. We're a team here. We All right, so Black Panther comes up next month. Um... The first solo film of the uh, Marvel hero, Black Panther, takes place. I don't know how it's a solo it. film. There's a lot of white people in that movie, and Black Panther is black. Well, whatever, <laughs> fuck it. And also, the big thing, too, we're going to see the other Infinity Stone. We should right. be seeing it. Black Panther solo movie featuring Hulk, Black Widow, fucking uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America, Iron Man, you think War Machine, fucking some Guardians. Every other fucking member who's gonna be in Infinity, it all of in Black Panther's shit. Like they gave Black Panther a solo movie so they can take it away from. Him. Yeah. All right. The uh, Black Panther comes out next month, so I, I'm I'm pretty excited to see about it. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, remaining optimistic. The, the action scenes do look really good in it. Yeah, I just well, don't like how they reuse that one scene from Civil War. Yeah, okay, I rewatch I re- I re- like, it. It's not exactly, not but it's scene, still the same. Yes, it's style. still similar. But like, it well, it looks good. And well, I, you well, can't argue with that. Hollywood action fucking formula. You need a car chase. In yeah, 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 yeah. Black I get Panther it. Panther doesn't have a Panther mobile. But I love the way they have him move. No, thank God he doesn't car, have a Panther mobile. Car alarms mobile. are really good. No, I was, I was, no, but I was, I was happy with the fact that he just had that jet. You know what I mean? Like, what, and it wasn't some jet? stupid. It was no, but it wasn't ha- like he didn't have like some yeah, stupid like, fucking submarine or tech, something like that. Have, you know they, what I mean? They have the Wakandan exactly. Tech exactly. Them. No, but I like the way that they have a move. They're really keeping his moves when he's got the the cat the the whole ensemble on when he's in uh, Black Panther form. There, they keeping his moves very actual, like Panthers, very like leapy, jarty, darty. Like they're actually, I like the way that they're doing the action. Travis, so leapy, jarty, and darty. <laughs> One of those words, leave it up. Leave it all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree. <laughs> you want to see me drink a saucer of milk? All right, let's, let's put that down there so the kids can learn something about panthers. And how they hunt. Leapy, jarky, and what? Jarty. And jarty. <laughs> Regardless, if it's not a word, it's one no. <laughs> yeah, kids, you just you just learned some new uh, panther facts. The more right you now. know, the, the more, more you know. know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. The action scenes do look pretty good, so I'm happy about that. It looks like they they didn't pull any okay, punches. Jerry, it's a party that is attended solely by denim clad people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jardy happens to be a thing. So Urban Dictionary, though. Yeah. So the Wakandans are back Jardy. Oh, they, they, they love party. their jean jacket parties. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, another movie uh, next up on the list. Well, I, you can't go the without mentioning it is the Infinity Wars. That it, was literally the next. No, it isn't. Black it's, don't. It's not. Okay. It's not. Can no. I see your phone. Yeah. What's the same one? It's there. It was literally okay, right yeah, next yeah, to yeah. it. No, it wasn't. No, no, it's down. It's down. What's the movie right next to Black Panther? Um, Jurassic World, which I don't think any. <laughs> Who? Okay, I'm still gonna go around about this. We're gonna go save the dinosaurs from a volcano on an island that we put them on the beginning in the first place, invested a billion dollars in the facility. Yeah, it makes sense. Why help colored people? <laughs> so <laughs> Why help the starving? Like, I bet you that movie starts with, okay, we got $10 million to waste on helping somebody who exactly. should help, and they're like, I don't know, I heard okay, the dinosaurs we... are dying. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> we, can, we, can do some, we can do some relief it's in either Africa. That, like, that uh... or we go help some dune goons. Like, fuck those dune goons. So <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, the next movie, the next movie up yeah, is exactly. The Infinity Wars. Can... The Basically, the accumulation of the MCU... Uh, that started with Iron Man back in what two? Yeah, featuring the only guy who isn't going to be in Black Panther, Thanos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he's showing up in Infinity. They don't. Want, they don't care about. They don't want to. They don't want to bring him in like, after, during after, Black after, after what Star Wars did to fucking Snooki there. But uh, what are they going to do to Thanos? Next thing you know, it's going to be fucking Ebony Maw is going to be the real Thanos. That's what's going to happen. They're going to kill Thanos in the first three seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Ebony Maw. Is Kylo gonna, Ren's going to come out of nowhere and fucking cut Thanos in half. <laughs> No, that can't and then happen. Ebony Ma is gonna come in. He's no, like, I'm the new Thanos. Not that ridiculous. So. Um, so yeah, you have the basically. <laughs> what the hell's the force gonna for do? All, for all we know, Disney's actually like Thanos. watching this, and they're like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this is great idea. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, when you're watching that, please realize Thanos by himself would destroy a Death Star. So like, fuck off. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so you you have the trailer that shows kind of Thanos. Uh, yeah. He can just has a couple, couple <laughs> gems there, and he's uh, kicking the ass, kicking some ass. He what he full on what chest grabs and throws fucking. Yeah, Spider-Man. well, we 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 discussed yeah. that here. Was, Not that you watch your own. It show. wasn't the full <laughs> chest. Arms? Yeah, yeah. Tiny arms. it was tiny, tiny arms. <laughs> yeah, it was tiny arms. Anyway, so tiny. So it looks good. Uh, the the hype around that it's probably <laughs> it's it's probably gonna break some uh, probably bro- break the box off records. I'd have to think. I, I'm sick of hearing break the box office records. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? Movie breaks the like, box office. I don't care if they break the box office oh, records, man. I think well, it'll be Star Wars. I think it'll be. I think it'll be the uh, the Force Awakens. I don't think it will. I, think I don't think so. Why? Do, so. do you got kids running around fucking with lightsabers, screaming out? Fucking it's about staying power, man. Like, no, I don't think so either. I'm with Dave on this one. I think it will. I'll, I'll put a pre. Uh, I don't think it will. My guess. Uh, well, my I'll guess. Be, three gets one. Three gets Civil one, Civil War didn't make it that far. Yeah, but Civil War's not Civil the accumulation War, I thought was the highest grossing MCU movie. It was, but it, it was, but it, no, exactly. nothing's coming close to Force Awakens. Exactly. Even Jedi fucking Last Jedi Because, Jedi again, Jedi comic, Jedi comic Jedi movies is for a specific Last Jedi, Last Jedi came second. It's yeah. the second right behind The Force Awakens. I think... So I, why I, was everyone talking about Last Jedi flopped in fucking terms of sales? It flopped in terms of the way it, it uh, appealed to fans. they thought it was going to do better than Force Awakens no, and th- No, the fans, they all went to see it and then they're like, oh, shit. And then... And yeah, but that doesn't take away again. from the money. You already paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That means Sandy's you already paid. That we saw in Espanol in Sandy's living room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys robbed yourselves on that. Me, who's yeah. a fucking number Negative. one pirate. Yes, that movie's entirely different. Yeah, I'm so glad HD. you paid for that movie. The I next, didn't. uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> My brother. Did. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, oh my God. Obviously, the Infinity Wars is going to be on there. But another movie that I'm really excited about is the new Spielberg movie, Ready Player One. I'm, we're not speaking about that one, man. I'm pretty excited about that. Why? It's, great... it's probably going to have to do something with a horse, a Jewish horse in war. No, it's war <laughs> okay. It's not. It's not war horse. But no, it's based off an amazing book called Ready sure. Player One. If you haven't read the but book, fucking Spielberg go hard is. on it. It's yes. really good. Um, go hard or go on on it. Uh, Wow. Dig deep. Yeah, I did that for you, you fucking whore. Dig deep. But anyway, really excited about it. Spielberg <laughs> is either going to nail it out of the park or he's going to fucking uh, BFG it and make it terrible. Um, uh, BFG it. Big Friendly Giant. This is his last movie that he did. was yeah. fucking god-awful. Um, but, um, so, uh, that one's coming down. He's, he, he, the one thing that excites me about this wait movie... Wait a minute. What before, was the movie he did before that? Uh, War Horse? What? War Horse? No, BFG. Big I, I know this motherfucker was all up on War Horse. He did War Horse, but that was in like 2012, 2013. That's still close enough for me not to forgive him. BFG was like last year or the year before. Yeah, but the big thing with Ready Player One is they're not discussing anything that hasn't been discussed in any No, other no, 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 no. What makes me excited. You know what I mean? No, no, no. What makes me that comic. No, no, no. What makes <laughs> oh me. Oh my God. Which I'm still waiting on issue three. Oh my God. It's, it's kind of been five years since the issue one. <laughs> so no, it's a non issue for them. <laughs> What's exciting me about this movie is. Before the book was even published, like when it went uh, actually out to everyone, yeah. Spielberg was after the movie. movie rights. So like it, when Spielberg gets that excited for a project, I gotta hope that he puts the same fucking care that he put into some of his other good his other hits. What care does this motherfucker put into anything? Okay, Jaws. I think I'm Spielberg sorry. Is no. That, okay, Jaws. So we're gonna go all the way back to when this motherfucker was like eating ramen noodles for a living. Got uh, ET. Yes. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. So Wu-Tang, one of the greatest bands in the universe, dropped Enter the 36 Chambers. Everything that came out after that was not the 36 Chambers. Not that I hold them to it, but it's just generally speaking what about the way things go. Jurassic Park 1? Him. What about Jurassic Park 1? What about it? That was a fucking awesome movie because he spent your childhood watching it. No, like, it's because it's, like, like, well, it was dinosaurs, animatronic dinosaurs. Yeah. So yeah. It, like, like he is a okay, before, fine. I'm, I'm fine. before I'm movies. It was claymation one. for like no, dinosaurs. It's the sequel yeah. that you know weren't I mean? that like bad. Shitty claymation. Yeah. But Spielberg yeah. does like he's but it's hit, not like Jurassic Park. Like, he does good movie jobs movie. on certain on certain movies. He nails out of the visual fucking cinematics. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Ready Player well, One is Buddy Player One is taking place in a VR universe, and that that's a mashup of an entirety of all pop culture into that point. So I'm hoping he nails the fuck out of it. Why? What the fuck? Why? But if you <laughs> want, if you want something that's really well done in terms of like the VR, mm. what, like why not check out Sword Art Online? You know what I mean? He's probably going to have Star Wars, Star, Star, uh, Star, uh, Sword Art Online hints like a character from it in the so negative. Oh, negative, because that's a different book. This is coming. No, 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 no. That book. This has fucking Overwatch characters in it, man. It has Deadpool. Oh, that's because that's licensing bullshit. Yeah. Oh wow! So this is literally gonna. It's be a seller. It it's a seller. Pay for it. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, so come pay twelve bucks to come see. How the fuck possibly, is you be might have a chance because to it's see all your about people. Character all, from that a video game even show up No, no. Okay, let me talk and I'll tell you. Anyway, what it's about is a, a guy that um, he's been, it's a, a futuristic 
society where most people live yeah. in the VR world, right? Yeah, they live in Japan. So people choose. No, one no has space. he lives in Oregon. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's like Japan. No one has no, space. Uh, it was just a future where all space is becoming uh, limited. So they yes. all moved to Japan. So anyway, um, what ends up happening is they all live in this online world, but yeah, they all have funny. avatars. So basically, some of the avatars are popular characters. So it's not Deadpool. It's a person with Deadpool's avatar. Mm -hmm. It's not actually Deadpool. Okay, like that's why he how he's in it. So I'm pretty excited about Spielberg's uh, Ready Player One. He, the fact that he went after before the book was even fucking out so shows he's after. So Deadpool is in this movie. Yeah, we can't get a Deadpool in an X-Men movie. Except for a really shitty Wolverine Origins. Uh, the next movie, on the, the next movie <laughs> yep. on, on the list, and not because he said it, is Deadpool 2. Uh, <laughs> Deadpool 2 is coming out this year. I'm really excited for it. It's this Who summer. still won't be in an X-Men movie. No, still won't be no. an X-Men movie. Yet, Who knows? Now that Disney now, goes. Now that Disney goes. We, yeah. might, we might actually get some uh, actual, uh, that actually, whole joke. Cool, cool that, theory I heard was fucking uh, mutants exist in the <laughs> MCU universe right now. Except the thing was Xavier, when they found out about him, he mind wiped the Earth. And then so there, there was a fan theory saying that once Thanos gets the mind gem, he finds out about mutants. You know what? I read that fucking too. I was like, yeah. ah, that's a pretty cool idea. That'd, like, be, fucking, I, that'd be dope if they, if they threw in the X-Men. It I would make sense. Like it. either Xavier or even... Um, uh, um, well, right now, uh, if it stands, fucking, I don't think they have enough people his to son, fight Thanos. His son. Oh, fucking Legion. Yeah, Legion could probably fucking do it, too. Legion, I think Legion by himself could probably rape a lot of people. But, like, the thing is, is, like... Well, we don't need him raping anymore. All right, as it stands right now, <laughs> the Avengers, I don't think, can take Thanos. In a comic standpoint, I don't think they can take Thanos. But, like, there's a lot of comic fanboys that would obviously argue that. Like, mm -hmm. Thor, Thor could beat him. Thor and Hulk is a strong Thor, 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 Thor and beat him up, fun kind of, maybe Thor, Thor, Thor. <laughs> Right? No, Adam so, Brashear would probably be the only one. Brashear is it in the MCU? <sighs> Let's right? not but, talk but, about you're, you're, you're talking about oh, yeah, a guy that's like, a, I, that's the thing I've said about the Ultimates yeah. all the time. That was like the only thing I gave any credit to Nick Spencer writing The Secret Empire was for. Was the fucking fact that if the Ultimates were allowed <laughs> on that Earth, there would be no Secret Empire. Because exactly. each and every one of those. Like when Black Panther's your weakest dude. Yes. Like, you feel me? And he's not hes not weak because he's weak. He's just no. weak because he's not fucking cosmic imbued. Exactly. Like he has a country to fucking run. You feel me? You like, know what I mean? Like, he, he has to go he's back a, and forth between, between so going multidimensional, <laughs> like going outside of our time space to running a fucking whole yeah. country, the most technologically advanced country yeah. on the planet. Yeah. Like, so, right, you know what I mean? Got, like, got too deep in the pages. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. It, sorry, sorry, it sorry. would be cool to see the mutants show up no. in, in the second part but, of the So, Deadpool obviously is on the list because um it, the first one kind of was the, the first deadpool was really good yeah I yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and stroke my ego again because i called it from fucking after the first deadpool i said the next thing they got to do was x-force and guess what's coming to the fucking big screens x-force yeah so you got cable but uh, another deadpool too that's x-force oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. well it's it's, it's most you just threw in it's, cable the guy it's, who originated. it's about half yeah. the x-force yeah it's all the key characters yeah you got colossus so, domino fucking well, cable. Colossus was never x-force not fucking, original x-force i don't think he was ever x-force yes no, he was x-force when was he x-force it was X Force in yeah. like the n early '90s? Like it was after the first lineup. Wh after uh, what's his name? Uh, not can not Cannonball. The one with the two sabers there uh, left. Remember, he was almost had like the cable yeah, okay. eye scar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He had left, and then what, Colossus came in. I can never remember his name. But he was X Force. Oh, you're looking up his movie bio, Dave. All right. Yeah, that's his movie one. But yeah, so no one's upset about. A Deadpool 2, we are all well, probably really excited Deadpool about it. If Colossus was an X-Force, because at least Man, you see Colossus yeah. in a fucking movie. Because you're yes, a big fan of Colossus, again. aren't you? No, I'm uh, a big fan of Colossus. I'm not a big fan of Colossus, but I definitely think he's a pinnacle X-Men character. Yes. So where you were going to make like seven fucking X-Men and you didn't because you were worried about a Russian character might not Nobody. go off well with fucking American audience, even <laughs> though his fucking comic counterpart is probably one of the more liked people. Yeah. X-Force? Yeah, okay, so Colossus has made X-Force at one point or another. Boom, told you. So. Bam! Another the children. Uh, another movie other than Deadpool that I'm looking forward to is the third Cloverfield. But Colossus don't oh. kill. Oh. There's a there was a second Cloverfield. Yeah, Cloverfield yeah. Lane. Oh it was my fucking fuck. really good. It wasn't really a sequel. It's in the was that it was the movie? In, that was Blair Witch Godzilla. No. no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the original was one. Blair Witch Godzilla. Godzilla. Just yeah. Him. yeah, yeah. And then the yeah. second one was Cloverfield Lane. That was the one with John Goodman in the bunker. I didn't see this. That one was it was it was actually real. It was really it was really good. Yeah. In my opinion, that you won't like it. It was it takes like basically okay. Yeah. Uh, quick rundown like for anyone who haven't drugs. seen Cloverfield Lane. It basically takes place like just after the New York incident. This girl uh, gets in an accident. John Goodman is one of those doomsday preppers who has a bunker. Yeah, and he sees her crash his vehicle. Her vehicle. He grabs her, pulls her into the bunker. And it's like I saved your life. You can't go outside. It's poisonous. 
and it starts to sh kind of uh, he's like people he's, he doesn't want to go outside and, and he has another guy with him so it's another Blair Witch project no no it, the there's no handy cam and okay. when anyone happens it, it kind of builds this thing where he's like follow my rules follow my rules but then she she's starting to get weirded out like why can't I go outside why can't I go outside he says it's because something bad's going outside she doesn't believe him anyway long story short Don't spoiler really alert movie. what spoilers I don't know I kind of want anyway, to watch it anyway anyway uh, I won't ruin it for him, but it takes place in the actual uh, the the events Cloverfield. the events in the world yeah. after the New York incident. So I'm wondering where the third one's going to be. I don't want to watch too many spoilers. No, the, see, the, both movies have nothing in common other than they've taken place around this event. What are you talking about? Both have nothing in common. Cloverfield, fucking Godzilla rolls up, fucks up New York. This takes place in Central U.S. Hey, as no. no. I'm just saying yeah. the second movie takes place. After those events, how are they not related to each but other? They're, yeah, because there's no, other than the fact that they place in the same world, they have no intermittent characters, no continuance to the storyline, nothing. It's still the same fucking universe. Series, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm, that's why I'm looking forward to the third one. I'm wondering what they're going to do. Are they going to stick with the overall like development of the alien race, the, what's going on on Earth? Or are they going to How pick with But have they confirmed that they're uh, aliens? Not enough, but it... But it, 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 it Clover, 10 Cloverfield Lane didn't come across very well. People did like 10 Cloverfield Lane. But John Goodman nailed the fuck it's out not of the role. Like, here's, here's, here's... Okay, so John here's Goodman isn't about life, guys. really that bad of an actor. No, like, John Goodman's a dope actor. Yeah. You, should, like, you will like 10... Some, actually, you might like 10 I only want to watch it, actually, literally, because of Goodman. But like here's here's some facts about life. You can do something fucking remarkably well, and it can be fucking amazing. But if you don't have a million people fucking buying it, it's not going to get that picked up for anything. That's got a decent move. They spent 15 million, uh, or, and they made 110 million. So 15 yeah, and 100 million. That's, that's actually so, pretty good. So the third is that's probably going to be the same thing. Have a massive know, the fucking... Abrams movie. Ten Cloverfield. So produced, the first one not directed. Produced. produced. Yeah, produced. Um, okay. So hmm. uh, the other... the I, I don't want to get too much into it, but I, I only want to list a couple more movies here. But the other movie I'm excited for is Predator. Uh, the oh my god! The There's predator. another predator. But, yeah, but, hold on. You know the, the one of the guys that was the original actor, the guy with the glasses that was in the original Predator on the team. Yeah, so yeah. He's the one directing it. Okay. So he came back to re go back into the series. Yeah, but does he how, like? I'm pretty excited for predator, predator. Okay, Predator is just something that they come out with because of a lot of Predator fans. Well, yes, I am great. one of those. I th I love the pr the idea of the Predator. I love what it is. I love the lore behind it. Yeah, like the idea of their society and how like it's a uh, it's a coming of have, age. The tech yeah, side, like of the whole is really hunt cool. is a coming of age. Oh, for absolutely, them. Yeah, and the yeah. style, the way that they look, is just angry as fuck. Yeah. I love it. Um, oh. uh, it's so not really angry as fuck. It's is They're there, actually no, smiling most Billy, of the time. Billy made it on the first? Yeah. They killed Billy and he didn't even die on screen. Yeah, yeah, he did die. No, he didn't. He fucking cuts himself and then fucking he's like, come on, brother. Then he camera cuts and then you hear him screaming. Oh, that's right. He was it's the, the guy with the glasses that's the uh, that's going to be doing the directing for the the Predator. So what is it supposed to be like? Um, uh, like I'm not after I'm, the events. Uh, I'm not reading. It takes place after the events that happen that's, in that, the jungle. That's, I would say that's like the coolest poster, except it fucking reminds me of the Inception covers. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh yes, yeah. But so I'm excited yes, for that. Not, not the fucking movie. Yeah. yeah. Who? And I'm, I'm kind of in. She what? was the best thing about X Men Apocalypse. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then. Except for she ruined an awesome character. I don't think she ruined it. Okay? No. I, 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 think that was blame, th I don't yeah, yeah. blame the actors for the characters that they fucking. No, I blame the writing. The writing. When you're Olivia Munn, who's, who's, who's never done any nerd thing whatsoever in her life, ever. Yeah. Except for now, be on G4 Tech TV. Did she do that? Yeah, she did. Oh, okay. Um, so you mean she might have known? She known was her? she was but the sex I, symbol I was of G4 TV. About that. I was being sarcastic, <laughs> but like, again, she could have done G4 Tech TV for ten fucking years, and it's no fault to her if she doesn't care about this stuff. She gets yeah, paid yeah. to do something. I have yeah. no issue with fucking Olivia Munn being a nerd oh. fucking representative without Respect. knowing anything about nerds. No nerd sex um, symbol. Nerd sex and then symbol. The, and yeah. then the... you feel me? But like, I was just making a really bad joke about how bad, Apoc like Apocalypse was fucking atrocious. It was so bad. <laughs> So, but I do got to go back. One of my main gripes was Apocalypse Does Nothing. Apocalypse is pretty strong. In no, that. He, he did does. lots, man. He does lots. He's really good at hairstyling. Number one hairdresser. Yes, number one, number one, one super number one mutant purple. hairdresser. Number one purple man. Uh, no, he was, no, he wasn't purple. Who, who wrote X-Men Apocalypse, Dave? Yeah, who wrote uh, that, who that shit? Who find that out? Who wrote that, that shit? Who wrote that, who wrote that uh, shit? Uh, uh, Simon, Simon Kimberg, Kimberg and Brian, Brian Singer. Brian Singer. Oh, <laughs> Well, Brian Singer somehow is the guy who made all the X Men movies yet never read one X Men. Yeah, movie, which is fucking great because he wanted to make it his own. That's fucking yeah, amazing, yeah. Brian. Like that's you know, why he gave. That's yeah, why he put someone else. He actually wrote it. He had to do it himself. 
Well, that's kind of what he thinks. Yeah. And, you know, Lord knows, but fucking, I'm pretty sure they sold because they're called the X-Men. But uh, here's, the, I think, the problem, okay? And guys, if you're out there listening, this is probably why you should fucking, because I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to plug us, man. Here's the problem. Plug us. Yeah. These rich motherfuckers, they don't exist with anybody who knows about comics. You feel me? So when they Straight. come out with a movie, these motherfuckers is like, oh my God, the fucking shit was so cool. Like when that dude shot beams out of his fucking eye busies, shit was crazy. <sighs> crazy. Right? And they all rich as fuck. Pompous motherfuckers sipping their champizzy and eating their fucking caviar, right? You feel caviar. me? Caviar. But trust me, yo, this one can happen. They can, we can get paid and we can end up somehow at the same party as these rich motherfuckers. Straight. Right? And when they were like, yo, that X-Men movie was good. I'll be like, nah, people leaving with black eyes, no <laughs> caviar. I'm going to take all their caviars. <laughs> I don't even like fish eggs. I think that shit's fucking gross. Mm, I'll throw it out. Something's wrong with you. If you like fish eggs, you should be pro-abortion. Yeah. So if you if you're out there eating caviar and you got an issue with someone having an abortion, stop eating caviar. But fucking uh, straight. Back to the point. <laughs> we gotta sort these motherfuckers out. We gotta tell them they suck. They yeah. still won't listen to. And us. then the and then the last movie that I'm I I, I, I there's a couple other movies, but the, the last movie I'm actually really excited for is uh, Incredibles two. Uh, All right, we're gonna, we should stop you here. I know. I, I really like the Incredibles one. Choke yourself. I know. Okay, okay whatever. Fuck. Like, Incredibles one was can't. awesome. Uh, it was one of the better. It, it is it's still in my in my opinion still top two Pixar movie. It is still the best Fantastic Four movie out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. With five members. Uh, <laughs> no, it's four. four. Well, yeah, four it's and a half. Five, well, it's four and a half. Five. No, four it's Mr. It's Mr. Mr. Incredible. It's it's uh the mum's the Inglasta uh, girl, and then you have Dash, and then you have uh, Mirage. No, not okay, so you've listed more than four, but your finger counts four. No, for it's the Mr. Incredible. Um, Mr. His Incredible, wife. his wife, Elastigirl. The kid? A like dash. Count, yeah. Dash. She didn't have powers. Dash. Anymore. But I thought it was a daughter and a son and then they baby. No, the yeah, baby yeah. didn't have no powers so until the very end of the movie. The baby now, got motherfucking powers now. Now he's all the powers. We we don't, yeah, he has, he's like, and he was able fine. to like transform his body. Oh, okay, you're saying the first one was fantastic. And yeah. Of course. Okay, yeah. So. We're getting about the best character in the entire movie. For, 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 for Frozone. Frozone. Yeah. 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 Where's my super suit? Oh, man. Anyway, Samuel Jackson uh, playing Frozone. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, it should have happened well, years ago. Could have been any other black actor playing Frozone? Not last I checked, fucking uh, what's his name there? Fucking um, Idris Elba can only play a bouncer. <laughs> and, uh, Michael J. Fox is going to be playing Frozone. <laughs> oh man! But anyway, I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to like I'm real. I'm really pumped because I, I've watched the first one a bunch of times, and. Uh, I, I just love it. So I'm I'm really like it's been what ten years since the original uh, Incredibles came out, and this is ten yeah, years later. Almost, almost. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. It's been over. It's 2014, 2004. Is that yeah, wow. Kudos, so, kudos to them for not coming out with another one. But I'm imagining yeah. they coming out with an Incredibles two has nothing to do with the fact that superhero movies are everywhere. No, it, <laughs> nothing. The Incredibles came out before. Incredibles came out before the superhero. Hype. Incredibles came out. What was the first Incredibles? Two thousand four. It came out after the yeah. superhero hype started. Yeah. I thought. In, I thought in the, the two thousand four wasn't that Superman Returns? Uh, no, X-Men. no, X Men. Don't forget X-Men, about X Men. X Men already had like X Men was ninety nine. Oh shit! But I thought. Like, I was sorry. I was in my mind. Iron Man. I was thinking Iron Man, yeah. The first Iron Man was 2008? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking Iron Man is the start of the superhero That's every year. That's the start year. of the MCU. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my bad. Well, it came out before the whole MCU movie every year, but... Um, well, technically, the Hulk, the Incredible uh, Hulk. Don't even get me started. Edward Norton no, fucking... No, no, no. Before that, there was the fucking... Uh, Ed Eric, 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 Eric. 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 The Eric Bana one. Yeah, that's the one that right there. He's well, got right there. Angly, angly 2003. 2003, yeah. Yeah, so I get before Incredibles. Yeah. 2008? 2008, yeah. No, no, no. That, that's, not, that's not Eric Bana. No, that's the Edward Norton one. Yeah. 2003, yeah. yeah. 2003. Bam! So, yeah, so, uh, anyway, it was at the f- beginning. It was at the crest of the goal, because Brian Singer's X-Men did really well, man. A lot yeah, of people did. fucking liked it, but not a lot of comic fans. No, no, no. A lot of tween so, girls loved it because of... Uh, I don't even think it was... Was it tween girls? It was All Ew the girls Jackman. in my high school went nuts for a bunch of the characters on yeah, this. Yeah, Ew Jackman. The mistakes Ew. humans make is Ew. think that because like if everyone in this room goes nuts about something, well, in I my damn well know sorry, in my experience, it was always <laughs> like, oh my god, X Men. But anyway, um, he's got yeah, a right be, big dingery do be, down there. It could be like I like I said, some 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 dude today came in and dropped off a fucking two because Zelda Triforce took right because it fell in the parking lot. We're right beside a, a, a 
what, military retail store, I guess? Is that mm-hmm. what you want to call mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. We got a place for fucking reservists to go look cool. Uh, <laughs> right? But it was in front of their Swat. parking lot, and then he brings it over here. He's like, oh, someone might have dropped this because... Right? But the guy was wearing a two-service battalion hat. Yeah. Right? And his logic was, the person with the Triforce cap badge is going to come in here and... The person with the two service battalion is going to go there. But I was like, yo, that, I didn't take the time to explain to him, like, you fuck nut. But, like, it's most likely from her store because yeah. right there. And then you came in with a fucking goddamn uh, unit. Toot unit. Into my store. Unit. I got a fucking thing. It's just a toque, man. That's all it is, a fucking toque. Then I a toque. Sandy, I think it was Sandy. I'm like, I have a guarantee. Almost, if you're wearing a Batman shirt, there's like a 99% chance you're going to them not here. Because you ain't... It's weird, man. I you have to, to be brave to wear a of... Batman shirt in no. here. No, 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 no. I said, like, in the closet, no. comic fans. Don't tell them. You feel me? Like, like listen, I'm that not, haven't read a comic since they were kids. I guess, I guess sometimes I come off, especially on the show, I come off as very exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you got to be. That's not That's not me. Listen, if you're going to sit there and tell me you know a lot about Batman, and then I'm going to ask you, like, a basic thing, because I don't, I don't know a lot about Batman. I'm not the biggest Batman fan. I just know... But you know more than the average bear. I, I know more than the average person anyways. Yeah. Like, that's just fucking me. He's like, not Yogi, like, man. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I cannot have a conversation with somebody who says they know and like Batman, and they don't read the comics. It's like, how can mm. you not fucking, like... That's like, I like cake, but all I eat is ice cream. Like, you fucking hear me? Like, no, oh, oh, no, all he eats is Black Forest eat, cake, and then he doesn't know anything else other than that one Black Forest cake. Nah, to me, the movies is like you eating the Black Forest ice cream. So you talking about the cake like it's the same oh, thing as the ice cream. okay, yeah, no. It's no, just, no. the flavor might be a little bit of the same, but they're entirely different. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hint at what it could be. Yeah, right? I, I like how Hawkeye. Much, how much of a Batman fan can you really be if it's like... So if you're a fan of something, you get into it like 100 percent into Hawkeye. anything you can at least dabble in it. You feel me? So how can you sit there and say you're a self-possessed Batman? I'm the biggest Batman fan because a lot of these fucks will come out and say these type of dumb things. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. Then it's like, no, you gotta start. You gotta in my books, you gotta start specifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I read you're the, the biggest book. Batman movie fan, or you're the biggest Batman fan? Because when you say I'm the biggest Batman fan, and you can't tell me what happened to him in page twelve of Hush, then I got an issue. Sure. Or even other series like fucking Murder in the Family. If you don't know the difference between Murder, Court Owls, Death of the Family, or Death in the Family, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. don't know the difference between those two, you ain't a Batman fan. Yeah, See, yeah. that's where you caught me. I said I really like a lot of the Batman stuff. And you're like, which ones do you read? I'm like, I only really read the Frank Miller stuff, but I really like the. Frank Miller stuff. Right, and that's, yeah, that's, I don't know why so many movie people like the Frank Miller shit. Like, I, it wasn't it's even crazy. that good. It wasn't I even that good. Yeah, like, I, how, how often do you see a real Batman fan? Well, and I read like, Hush. I yeah. really did. I did like Hush. Hush, Hush. Hush was crazy. A lot of people probably won't know Hush, but Hush was just awesome because the painting, like, he, fucking Jim Lee did a phenomenal job with the art on that series. I find it's some of the, the people, few, I find, just in general, with, like, a lot of Batman fans, I find the ones that do know a lot about uh, Bruce's history yeah. in the comics, like yeah. and memorize it, are the people who majority the only titles that they'll purchase are, are the de- <laughs> no are the detective series. Yeah, yeah. But they'll like on the side, like they'll come in, they'll pick up a Batman, but they won't buy it. They'll read it in the store. <laughs> well, I think it's right now. Detective Comics has a lot of crazier shit going. Oh on man, Detective right now has a lot of crazy shit yeah, going but I, on. I think man. it's King writing for Batman. I can't remember his first name, but like at first I thought it was stupid, but then I was like, yo, he's actually. So the Batman run going right now is actually pretty solid mm-hmm, too. With but, Batwoman and Clayface, like so, fucking well, Damien's now you're, fucking you're, shit up. You're going back to Detective Comics. Yeah, yeah I love the Batman f- run. But don't worry, you see what I'm saying? This is what happens when you're a fan of comics, and neither of us are Batman fans. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. So if you, I love. Hawkeye. To rewind things, I guess, ultimately speaking, fuck off if you're a movie fan. I don't want to hear Yeah. Shit. All right. And, all right. And as we're for... We're not exclusive at all. While, <laughs> while we're on the topic of good movies for this year, upcoming year, I might as well, I might as well bring up a couple of the movies that I'm just like, oh, shit. Um, you're the only one who brought up movies. How come you're not asking me to say still about your what favorite. movies we want to watch? Because I asked you before the show started. You that said was I was before excited. the show. Listen, the show man. Started, man. All right. What movies are you excited for this year? Sandy, tell them. <laughs> Nothing. There we go. All right, you want to know what movie I'm excited for? It's called Colored Liberation. Oh, Bright 2. But it doesn't happen. Do you know why? Because oh. colored people don't know how to get together and fucking sit down. Organize. And, and be happy it, about certain facts. Exactly. Be um, happy you know. and then organize through that no, I'm serious. If you're a colored person right now, you need to do some serious fucking soul searching and stop comparing your plight to other people's fucking plights because they're all fucking plights. Yes. It's really irritating. A plight is a plight is a plight. 
is a plight. We got political. Speaking of happy, if you watch. Is that political? How the fuck is that political? No, that's I've, politable. I've seen the first episode of Happy. happy? I like Happy, but again, I was a fan of that fucking comic series. Yeah. So if you're out there right now, you won't look at it like I'm bored, I want to watch a TV show, watch Happy. You might have an issue with how it's a little bit over the top. Because uh, even in the comic, I was like, well, this is fucking. <laughs> this is over the top. And then the shit, like when he blew out his brains in the first scene. Yeah. Yeah, oh, imagine it. Oh. Well, there's a. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler! So they try to establish this guy, and I think they did the greatest possible way to establish this dude within like three seconds. You yes. see him, he's in like this really run down fucking shitty washroom, and then he imagines blowing his fucking brains out. And when he does, he's just sitting there in like this dance scene with like brain matter spilling out of his head. And then he's still alive. But it's about <laughs> this guy, he just fucking, he used to be a good cop. Uh, life kind of kicked him in the dicks like mm -hmm. multiple times. Uh, and then he just became a shit fucking cop almost to the point where he became a no longer cop and he's just a PI doing some really extreme shit to make a living and do drugs and stay sober but somehow fucking die. He just really wants to die. Yep. But he can't because he's like the hardest fucking cop in the universe. And then a figment of someone else's imagination. Like it's trippy as fuck. Uh, it's Grant Morrison. So was it we, someone no, else's? Yeah. Yes. It was a little girl's imaginary friend finds him and tells him to find her. Wait, is that, is that that little tiny purple thing that, he, that no one else can see? That's literally happy. <laughs> no, but I... What is, is it again? I thought it was purple. his. Like a unicorn. No. Yeah, yeah, I saw no. the trailer for So that. in the comic, the reason why I'm saying it right now, but I'm kind of hesitant about talking about it, because in the comic, you don't actually know what that fucking thing is. You yes. Just, I, I just thought, because like this dude was so beat up and so fucked up on drugs... That it was that his hallucination. Was a, it yeah. was an embodiment of like the detective work he used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he used to be the best cop, mm -hmm. right? Oh, it was everything that he so, wished he was. Yeah, but here's some things about Grant Morrison. When you're reading his shit, it's not what you fucking think it is. Because That's Grant true. Morrison is probably the most, like, I had a long history with Grant. In terms of, like, and he don't know me so much. I've, <laughs> I've had a long history with this dude. With, I, like, I, a one-sided history. No, I'm serious. <laughs> At one point, I was like, I fucking hate this guy. Like, mm -hmm. I really, really hate this guy. But then you compare him to a lot of other writers. It's like, no, Grant Morrison, you got to give him his respect. Well, even like, like... He's written some phenomenal fucking series. Uh, you know, and, he, like, it's crazy. This guy hits series that'll make hipsters hip all the way to the point of, like, comic fans just love it. Like, you yeah. feel me? Like, he, that guy can reach to anybody. He's a really smart fucking dude. Uh, but he's crazy when it comes down to, like, how he thinks the world works. And I shouldn't say crazy because, like, it's actually, I wish he's... I mean, you know, I'm hoping he's right. Yeah, he's like one of those guys that believe in magic, but not like spellcasting magic, like yeah, power yeah. words. Uh, you know, certain spots on Earth mean certain things, and like yeah, certain meridians mean yeah. certain things. Like he's really into that type of mysticism. Yeah, um, makes sense. So he's constantly right. Like, uh, fuck, what was that series he did there? That most recent one, and it was in space, Nameless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see all the fucking imagery on that shit? Oh like, yes, almost like apparently, like, almost every page is like some sort of fucking. It looked like a freaking somewhere. acid trip. Right? Yeah, so like Grant Morrison's that type of writer. So imagine when he's writing an action esque story. You feel me? So there's a lot of questions you'll be having. In the, well, and in even his Watch rendition Happy. of uh, Claws. Like, because he did Klaus. Yeah, he did Klaus. He did Klaus, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. was also an amazing series. Like, yeah. and his rendition of Santa Claus is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck, as much as I hate Christmas, I, I actually like Klaus. I like his, I like his rendition. Right, so Graham Morrison, good fucking writer, fucking yeah. entertaining as fuck, and uh, it's just dark. Like, it's dark. It's really fucking dark. Like, if you have an issue with kids having a hard time with certain things, don't watch this show. And they, they already kind of made certain changes, but again, like, don't watch the fucking show. Simple as that. Because mm -hmm. just because someone does something that offends you, you have the option of just not listening. It's still an option out there. I know it's stupid because God made this world for you and only you alone and only your ears and your eyes. <laughs> so You're also a snowflake. <laughs> so, I get it what it's like to be an individual. A couple, <laughs> so, yeah. so anyway, a couple of movies that I that are coming in 2018 that I'm just kind of thinking to myself, like, fucking why? Han Solo. What, we're doing a fucking bad movies for today? I'm just going to skim over a couple of the bad shit that's coming out. Han Solo. Disney Star Wars, yeah, I agree. Uh, so I'm sick of being fucking confused by you guys. Um, the other movie would be Pacific Rim. Uh, what? Yeah, there's it's because Mr. Boyega's in No, it's because the trailer is fucked. I, I, I don't Mr. Boyega, <laughs> until me and you are hanging out, I'm going to watch Pacific Rim too. Oh, God, no. Um, what? Well, he's my boy, man. I've seen him in Imperial Dreams. He was good. I know, but that's like you But you, you always say that. He's a good in Imperial Dreams, but... Wait, yeah. one. He's a terrible Imperial soldier. Oh, I see. I see I... Who's playing Black Panther? <laughs> is it Chadman Boswick? Is that how you say his name? Boswick. Boswick? Is that how... Boswick. I saw a movie he was in from Netflix, Letter from the King. I was like, yeah. wow, that's... 
convenient. He also came from Africa. <laughs> to America. Was it, it was like a low was budget. The Chad. guy who plays Black Panther. Anyway, uh, no, another movie uh, that is uh, another one is the new Tomb Raider series, the reboot of the Tomb Raider series. Is it Ray? Is Ray Black playing Pat. Tomb Raider? No, it's. Um, <laughs> Because I seen an interview with her and she said that was one of Which the one? Oh, the new, the new. I love Chad, that woman. How do you say Chadwick it? Chadwick Seriously. Chadwick Boseman. She is an insanely beautiful woman. At least. Yeah, like, uh, yes. at least, at yeah, least no, 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 no. No, it's not Ray. It's her. It's she's the one, she's so the one from. No, um, she's the one playing the new Tomb Raider. Yes. She's the one from the uh, Deus Ex uh, Machina. I don't care. Like They don't have to be hot, man. No, it no. has nothing to do with it. It's. We're dirtbags. She is you didn't need to redo fucking Tomb Raider. I don't care. Yeah, they, well, I, yes, no, I love her. Yeah, You're, listen, sucks. you are by far Laura the most beautiful woman yeah. I've Laura ever Croft, seen my whole life. Laura, Angelina Jolie. Was it Angelina Jolie? Yeah, Laura Croft. Yeah, Angelina, yeah. Angelina Jolie is my, is my Tomb Raider. That, but the current, like, series of games they've been putting out awesome, are awesome, far awesome. more superior to the old ones. And well, yeah, I heard that they're more cohesive Yes, they're better And Travis, just in case you haven't realized it, Okay, because you know, fucking these guys really make what we want, not not what people like what they want to sell. Tomb Raider is a good f f movie to make. Why? Sean Peabody. Stop. It has. It's already subs into a billion different things. You got it. There's Tomb Raider comics. There's enough of a fan base for them to continually make Tomb Raider comics. Cosplay. Tomb Raider cosplay. Tomb Raider toys. Tomb Raider fucking video games. If you haven't noticed, these fucking big conglomerate cocksuckers are literally just making things they can sell in abundance. Yes. That is yes. why they killed off Luke, man. Yes. Because Star Wars, in Disney's mind, isn't Luke Skywalker, Leia, and fucking Han huh. Solo, who are all humans and are gonna die. Disney ain't gonna die. They're like, the guy who originated us, he froze himself so he won't die. So we ain't gonna die, <laughs> and we ain't gonna kill no fucking series. So we're just gonna kill these punk bitch humans and let these motherfuckers know Star Wars is for real. You can buy this shit in the game, you can watch the movies, you can go get the toys, you can get the fucking shirt. You get all that shit. So uh -huh. Now give us your money. Just want to sell shit uh -huh. that they can sell. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Game of, of Thrones literally turned it. And they pumped it up and they, they fucking threw the roof because of Game of Thrones. They pumped it because up. HBO made a fucking killing about it. I don't give a fuck. And if anyone was offended that I hailed Hitler, they're fine. <laughs> Motherfucker's dead. Yeah. They lost the war anyways. I don't know why you'd be. Well, technically, the Romans that. did it first. That's it's, again. I'm not going into why fucking Hitler ruined a lot of things for Romans. Yes. And Hindu or Buddhist Buddhist people. Oh yeah, the Buddhist people Buddhist too. People. But yes. speaking of which, they're making a Blade of the Immortal movie, and he's running around with the swastika. So it's it's yeah. They already. I think it might already be out actually. Holy shit. Blade of the shit. Immortal, a really cool manga series. Uh, oh, we've yeah. actually discussed it on this show. Yes, uh, we have. So anyway, uh, so, an yeah. another movie uh, that I'm kind of like, uh, what the fuck is, uh, I've already voiced my opinion on it, is uh, the Jurassic Park, what the fuck are they doing movie. Same yeah, thing. I just, <laughs> yeah, fuck the dinosaurs. Uh, no, no, just I'm just, it. it's going to yeah. be shit. Feed the hungry. Just just so we I don't know. reiterate points. I Jurassic Park does well, and it keeps coming back in the movies. I'm not a Because you can sell toys, <laughs> you can sell shirts, you can sell video games. <laughs> no one's buying him. Jurassic so, Park. Video. But yeah, Dave, behind him... Like, so his kimono, yes. there's a swastika. Now, I can't remember exactly what the Buddhist people believed in the swastika, but I believe it was like balance or something. It no, was, it was the peace. four elements, wasn't it? I'm not I'm too sure. I'm pretty sure it was the four main I'm elements. I'm not too sure, but either or, he was like criminal, and then he wants to, uh, he wants to kind of beat the curse of being a uh, baddie. Yes. So I think he has to kill like a thousand bad guys. Yes. And those bad guys are just as fucked as he. So, I, is it out or no? 2017. Yeah, so it already came out. So fucking, what? Uh, I, I never How watched it yet. we miss that? Because it's fucking Japanese people and North America. Is Normally I like much, to stay on top of that much, shit. As much as like we like to pretend oh. that we're so conscious about fucking things, we're yeah. probably still the most racist motherfuckers. We are the most racist. North America. That's Canada and fucking America. Yeah. But not Mexico because God bless them. Yes. You guys still working your asses off. <laughs> no, I'm serious. From now on, God bless, God bless Mexicans. Yes. Man. I fucking love them. I love Latin Americans. God God bless I never had a problem with them before, but I love Latin Americans. Because in my mind, Latin Americans, it's like, if you were if you were to go to a show of just pure debauchery, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pure shamelessness, pure debauchery. I'd imagine in the world, that show is North America, right? Yeah, yeah. Mexico has a first row seat to that fucking show. <laughs> you feel me? So not only do well, they gotta deal with all the problems of being like, you know, a country that we shit on to get our fucking cool stuff. Yeah. They have to sit right in front of us and fucking... Like literally listen and be like, okay. Yeah, they're the starving yeah. kid that's sitting in front of like this <laughs> really big understand. fat person at the buffet saying, "No, this is my food. Well, no, I'm just here. My yeah. food, you can't eat. 
Not, that's my not even, food. We ain't even how? acknowledging them like how? that. <laughs> we ain't even acknowledging about that. Like I'm literally saying that buffet's happening and they're in the parking lot watching. Like, yeah. You me? You and From outside, outside the, the, food so, from out, the buffet. Yeah, or they made it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, the whole the whole world made the food for the buffet. Yeah. Minus yeah. the other civilized yeah. areas. So anyway, other pockets. Um, that's don't the... anyways me, man. That's rude. Anyways. <laughs> So that's the end of the movies. Anyway, uh, the so bros. It's been the end of the movies. We on some shit. Well, one sec. Oh, you're like I fucking. I don't want to piss off YouTube. Fuck you, Google. Fuck you. YouTube. No, I don't give fuck a fuck. Fuck that animals, part. Right? No, I just want to say. Animals. Move on. I know Sandy. I, I know we. Uh, my movie thing ate up a little more than I wanted it to, and I want Sandy to be able to get to the point to hear. Your mouth eats. Up. Your mouth eats up a lot of. His things. last point is cool movies 2018 that travel shit on. <laughs> Really, what you broke up my fucking world display of stuff, man. I was gonna even go into the point of telling you, like, for at least when you were in Africa, you all broke. Everyone's kind of fucking just angry with each other. Like Saudi Arabia is a distance; you can't see yeah, that yeah. from fucking the Congo. You understand yeah, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. And plus, you got mountains in between too. No, I'm just saying. Well, like, think about think, think about being born and raised in Juarez. Well, and plus, you wonder why that place is the Congo. The think about being born and raised in Juarez. Isn't you're fucking right beside America? Isn't the Congo also below sea level? Uh, no, I don't Because I think so. it's like that whole area is. I don't think with anything it, in Africa is below sea level. I think the Except center. Except maybe like a part off of Morocco that's close to the fucking Gibraltar Strait there. Like, I'm not, I'm not too sure. All I know is African, <laughs> like, like a lot of mid thing. Africa countries are good at fucking track and field because of oh, the yeah, high yeah. elevation. Oh, yeah. Right? No, I know like the. Like the the eastern parts. Yeah, what was are the, like what was the one country elevations. that just had like every year one of their guys was Kenya. Just winning the? Oh. Is it Kenya? What, yeah, I Kenya know, and Ethiopia it? both oh, have like some yeah. of the oh, greatest runners. Oh god. Okay. This. Okay. Cross this is, this right. just. Dave, what is it? What is it? It's uh, seventeen hundred feet above sea level. Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're talking about Central Africa, bro. Yeah. All right. Right. You feel me? So. The, well, I thought it was like all, most of that nah. was tucked into the mountains. Okay. Nah, so I would imagine your lowest places in Africa are probably like Morocco. Maybe Sudan on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Maybe certain parts like in Africa, and then maybe on fucking the the, the western side, the Horn of Africa. There. So, so you got, when you me? said the Middle East, uh, it made me think of something I saw in the news at the beginning of the week. All right. Oh, this is gonna be enlightening. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just CNN it's, highlight. No, it's just funny. Well, they just held Donald they, Trump's a fucking idiot. No, it has not. It's not political. All right. Okay. So in Kuwait, there was a shooting funny? competition. There was an international shooting competition. The women's section, a uh, girl from Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. won gold medal, right? Mm -hmm. So she gets on the podium and they play the national anthem, except they played the national anthem from Borat. So she's up on the pedestal, pedestal and the national anthem's going off and how they had the number one hookers in in, yeah. in in the region, with the exception of Turkmenistan. And she just sat there, and I don't think she really understood English, but she sat there with a big smile on her face. Well, they played the Borat National Anthem, because I guess the guy didn't, they, like, I don't know what they didn't have, but they played through the whole That's metal amazing. ceremony. The fucking Kazakhstan and National Anthem. What sport? No this is not a story. It was, what sport were they playing? Shooting? It was a shooting competition. Yeah, even white people know you don't shoot humans. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was fun. It was, I was on CBC. It was on CBC. I thought it was, I watched it, and I was dying. It was because it was like talking about like penises and like. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know Come, what? That's another weird thing. The conspiracy like, continues. Like beings, man. <laughs> Listen, if you got a gun and you don't hunt and you don't kill people, mm -hmm. I don't know why you got the gun. What about bows? It's exhilarating shooting it. Well, bow, same with bows. Okay, well, I guess bows, you can. It, 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 kind of a workout. It's the same yes. thing as like saying stripper poles now can be used by people who aren't strippers. Yep. I got uh, one at home. Right? You feel me? Um, <laughs> I stripper size. But I think stripper specifically size. speaking, with guns, motherfuckers need to get over the fact that it's exhilarating when you fire. Exactly. Right? Uh, my fifth amendment. I don't know. I was, watching, I was watching Angry Joe because I used to hate Angry Joe. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like, yeah, fuck him, whatever. He's not that bad. At least he keeps it kind of fucking... Like, I don't feel like anyone's paying him to say anything per yes. se about the fucking yeah. games. Maybe not so much now. Who knows? But then I see this one episode because I was watching a, a review on Hard West. Oh, right? Okay, yeah. And then he's sitting there with a pistol. He's going on about his pistol. And he's doing all the fucking... The dancing shit and the pistols that Hollywood popularized, not fucking cowboys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, and cowboys aren't what you think they are anyway. So, but the point is, like, a gun does nasty things to fucking people. Yes. Like, and if you, it, I don't know. I just, I find nowadays in my age, man, if you got a gun, but you ain't hunting or killing people, get the fuck rid of that gun. You're perpetuating a problem. Like, you know, does that make sense? I shoot at neighbors all the time. No, I'm saying, but at least you're, mean, using, you're using the right? gun for what it's for. <laughs> no, because you get these fucking idiots trying to tell me that an AK is for self defense. It's a fucking assault rifle. It's in the assault rifle family. Yeah, assault yeah. does not mean self defense. Literally doesn't mean self defense. It's assault. Yeah. 
So if I assaulted you, yeah, <laughs> it's I'm not going to court for self-defense. It's, 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 it's that it's that uh, bit from fucking what's face? Where are these defense rifles you speak of? You, you feel me? <laughs> and then what am I going to get at a pistol? Is self-defense like here's your best defense? Don't piss people off. That is like the greatest defense you could possibly fucking have. I'm not good at that. Well, I'm just saying, most of the people who say I have a gun for defense, they are yeah. not in danger of anything. Yeah, that's fair. You're just in the danger of your own fucking shadow. Yes. You feel me? And you're going to be the most likely to actually cause more right. problems. Right, like if you a street dude, you in the street, and you got that gun, you ain't sitting there saying because of self-defense. You sitting there saying because if a motherfucker come through here asking stupid questions, I'm going to feed him something. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Cool. That, if he says least, something I least, don't like. At least this person is... Respecting the realm of the weapon. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, right. I guess. So what else? So what do you, so what Not do you the have? respect of human life. <laughs> Marvel gives a... Okay, so... What, just selfishness. What I, uh, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. Who, who respects human life? Uh, apparently no one. The only risk... Like, that. come on, man. It's, you can't... The fucking, I, I guarantee you North America don't respect human life. No, it's obvious. What's this, Dave? We talking too much. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> You All right, just, ladies and gentlemen. saying that because you want to do some charter Listen, stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Zach didn't roll up anyways. Oh, oh, of course Zach's on, oh, his, way. on his But listen, way. ladies and gentlemen, wow. I want to appreciate the two crimes to the crap I want to thank you guys today <laughs> for coming out. No, for hold another... on. No, shut up. We have... No, we're not. No, yes, we, we are. I'm talking what about this next week. What movies are you going to shit on, Travis? Because next week, because next week, we got a big freaking review because there's a certain title. Because Auk and I, Auk has been plaguing me to Hawkeye. do this. No, I haven't. I yes. actually think Old we Man should do a specific show just for comics so we don't spend 80% of the time talking about comics on this show. I like some of our comic conversations here. Yeah, you do because you learn something, Travis, and you like fucking learning things. Yes, no, your, does opinion, like... your opinions on some of this stuff is actually really He doesn't cool. always learn, but when he actually learns, he actually picks it up pretty good. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? That's like, congratulations, you're not a complete retired. <laughs> no offense. I want to try. It's, it's what I wanted. Anymore. I got up this morning, I'm exactly. like, don't be that's fucked. Why, and I showed up, I was and I wasn't as fucked. Well, this fucking guy tried to make me well, fucking Well, no, you, you, you guys just up, keep interrupting. Because I never want to do that. What? Shh. Get your, Crap, get your hand on the... So, Crap, ladies and gentlemen, right. so happy you guys came out again. Get in the fucking store this time. out the window exactly. like a fucking bitch. Exactly. Let's get in here. Let's see our other executive producer. This is not Riddick walking in here. No, it's not Riddick this time. Riddick has never shown us. Actually, yo, come here and show your fucking face. Yeah, show your fucking so face, man. So I can man. fucking hand this off properly, man. Yeah, straight. straight. All right, Riddick hasn't shown his face because he lost no, the Wall Pro no. Championship. He walked through Travis, the Travis, I am the wrong person to speak over. <laughs> Fucking guy. He, I he will was beat on you. <laughs> like it's fucking the really eight, showing up Like it's eighteen eighty and we're a in a former, fucking Wild West and I'm fucking angry because the oil champion, pump ain't working. Full former champion hands me the trophy. Yo, you're not here for lines, bro. You're here to fucking accept the fucking trophy and shut the <laughs> fuck up now. Yeah. Riddick is somewhere Stand out here there smiling because he talked a lot of shit. Exactly. Bo, I'm gonna give you some advice. When you win a fantasy league and you name yourself Thanos, you will win that year. Unless someone names himself Thane. You will lose the next year. <laughs> to Thane. As much as it was irritating in Marvel Comics watching Thane beat Thanos, yes. apparently it's a scientific formula in life you cannot avoid. <laughs> Your child, child will beat you up. <laughs> he took the championship, which is the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. That's the trophy. It's going to have my name on the knuckles but now. Nobody likes to learn their lessons, and no one reads the fine print. The championship still stays here. Hiding my fucking exactly. goddamn drinks That's or funny. Sandy's drinks, so we don't get sued. But name. we do hope that some people Somewhere. do learn their lessons eventually. Actually, no, congratulations, though, uh, man. Thanks. He swindled me for one of the best tight ends in swindled. the league. Swindled. And fucking. Who did well for like back. four weeks and then died again. I yeah. was actually thinking of the irony of it, though, because last year I won off of swindling him for a tight end, so go for it. Gore Quaffer. All right, guys. Um, and it's only a matter of time for the hockey championship because I'm in first place, too. That's yes. for, all, for all the new subscribers, last week got a few of them. Thanks for thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Do I still have yeah. to do my 200 He Man? Oh, yes, we're gonna do 200 He Man. <laughs> you guys we're are gonna fucking call me out on this. What did the first episode kid like? The first this cartoon series only had like 12 episodes. Uh, no, the first cartoon series had 130. It made 100, 100, 130, 132 episodes. I believe. Oof, oof, we're gonna here's, then, yeah, here's He Man opening the oh, door. Here's He Man wearing his new loincloth. He Man, we can, no, He Man posing really sweet he, in front no, of Grace. He Man school. episode count. He Man episode count. He Man episode. So Travis, I was also thinking something else. I don't, I don't think a lot of YouTubes do it. He Man episode. And count. Count. Just, just, just roll with me it. on this one because like I think there's only really one person who deserves this. But so from now on, we're doing sub of the month. 
Oh, That's right. Sub of the month. Sub of the month. 130 issues. Yeah. So Sandy was pretty fucking close, man. Damn straight, so, son. We're, so we're going to do sub of the month. All right? <laughs> so we're going to call this month month zero because we're still going to have January. So we're going to okay, call yeah. this. This is, this is sub of the month zero, agent zero. Uh, and we're giving it to Rich. Richard LaBlanc. Uh, actually, we shouldn't air out the name, just a screen name. But I'm pretty sure it's Richard, Richard LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because oh. Rich, is, he's, he, he literally dares you to come out and find him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the comments, the, co the comments have been, his comments have been awesome. Uh, and they have also been the only ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Outside but of he, you commenting no, back he actually, he, something lame like I that. Lo I love his comments. He actually so gives what? very valid points. We could have we done you know an episode like, on his review on fucking, which I, I fucking should yeah, have. Honestly, I wish we would have had, had him on for the Star Wars You know what? Because he had such his comment right here. No, Spencer was good too. I wish we would have had more people. Spencer watches this far into the show, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't, he might actually get upset. No, Spencer. Spencer did a good job. It's just, I wish we would have off. had one or a couple more people to have a little more depth to the Star Wars review because we had a pretty good diverse. Actually, no, we really didn't. No. But uh, <laughs> I've been talking to Rich bridge. about it. Rich had some really fucking good points. I'm like, fuck, I wish we would have brought that up. Yeah, I, I know. That's great. I had a good argument with him about Star Wars. So. Yeah, he, yeah he, but he, you he, didn't comment, Dave. That's why you ain't sub of the month. Now, oh, shit. And plus, you're our producer. So but, that's also uh, <laughs> from, from the shop to producer. you guys. Uh, thanks for Hold the fuck up, though. If you want to be a sub of the month, I got to whore out. I'm whoring out. 2018 is the year Ox whoring the fuck out, man. What's Woo! up? H&M, I'll lick the dick. I don't give a fuck. I'll wear the coolest monkey shirt. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck my Most people. Fuck racist, your old people. Fuck everyone's commercial. people. I want to get paid. And if what it takes is a little bit of fucking selling your soul, you can have all of mine. It's done nothing but piss me off anyways because I keep seeing the fucking inequalities of life and still everyone complaining about what's wrong with Dayside. Punk ass. So, anyways, if you want to be, <laughs> if you want to be some of the month, yeah, pretty much you just gotta comment more than Rich does. Yes, that's that's a fair thing to do. I do like something that. better than like Rich that. does because that's some of the month material. And, right and, there. and he set the bar pretty high. So, right? Zach, don't even bother. I'm still a little bit salty about losing. <laughs> so even if you write two comments every video, I'm still not nominated. <laughs> Exactly. Actually, I'm pretty sure your wife has more so, comments on her videos. Than oh, you Rebecca! Is. Actually, yeah, we should we should give a shout out to Re what her screen name? I think is too Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. yeah. Man, <laughs> stop trusting the fucking internet, man. Yeah, exactly. Stop putting your real names on the internet. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for. That's why no one can ever track me on the internet. So, again, I thanks for liking, thanks asshole. for subscribing, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Yeah. Catch you next time, guys. Yeah.